Jays from SNF, Salt and Flesh Fishing, and I'm gonna go over my two tackle boxes. But first, I'm starting with salt. And then in the next video, and make sure to, to subscribe. And in the next video, I will be doing my salt, freshwater tackle box. And first, um, the gray with little shiny sparkles. This is great for redfish and drum. Got some hooks and some sinkers. Got pliers. My, one of my favorite, this ain't a glop, but uh, I like using glop shrimp. But I don't want to pull one of my glop out, so this looks just like one. And this will catch you. Snook, redfish, almost anything that likes shrimp and salt water. Another sh shrimp lure. Looks like you can, when you're fishing off a pier, you can drop this down, like through the little, into the little, um, the pole that is sticking out of the water. The fish will hit it. And if you want to, you can put a little spinning spoon right there. Something. I, uh, this is one, this is one of the best ones I have. And, this imitates a little shad going through the water white. So you would want to use this in dark conditions and maybe calm water. Another thing white, good for snook. It's only really good for snook because of how big it is. And Got another shad, some big hooks for sharks. Got a few homemade hooks. Oh, here is one of them. This is you can. This is just a regular golden spoon. I hooked a grain. I don't know really what it's called, but onto the bottom of it, and you. And this is good for fishing off pins too on murky water. Just. Jig it off the side of the pier or the boat. And here I. This is for us both. Let's just skip that one because that one's for flesh and I, I found it out of weather. This is a Wapala Skinwalker. Now this one's a flapper wrap. Now this is a skinwalker. Well, part of skinwalker, little shad, silver, top water. But if you look fast enough, it'll stay under. Got some more gold spoons. I got a homemade lure. A black, and all I, all I did was put little silver sparkles on it. It's top water. Got some silver spoons. Top water plug. This is good for grouper, small grouper. I'm pulling it behind the boat on a, but I don't really use this. Sometimes I'll use it to throw my bait cast away, trying to get something to hit on top water. But it doesn't. But the, the, the more weights. The jig head. A big silver golden spoon. And you can also attach your tail on there like this. And where it makes it have the tail going through the water. And one of my favorites is the white minnow. White minnow. Put a jig head in that. Well, you jig it by piers off your, but when you're, um, on a boat, you need to cast it a little bit. Um, this is actually is my favorite in the tackle box. It is a white mullet, little white mullet. It's a silver jig head on it. Look, I got this for Christmas. It ain't a little lure. It's a bottle cap opener. 
a little fishy thingy. I guess I could put little hooks on there if I wanted to, but it's a magnet. I got a clear shrimp, clear dark water, walked really good. And got I gotta go up one stage more. Um oh these are good really good for catching a little pinfish. It's a little thing, it has yellow on the bottom, a little travel, little shiny thing. You just and it has a little rattle to it. Just drop that around in your boat and stuff and the little fish will hit it. Mud minnow, flesh and salt. You can you let it sink down and pick it off off the bottom. I got a little white trout for trout. Little white thing. Got a wet and white shrimp, good for snook, wet fish. Almost everything in my tackle box is good for snook and wet fish. <clears throat> Top water. And two hooks hanging from the bottom off the travel hooks, you can see. Now I'm one. Um a little white shad. This is the best for when the fish are feeding on top. And white shad or the jig head. Old minnow that I willed in. Some small bait fish hooks. And on to the bottom. These are my favorite hooks to use. It's two art, medium light circle hook. Easy removal. Got some 10 pound blade. Uh, I never leave somewhere without a beetle spin. I know these are for fresh water, but they also work good in salt water for pinfish, for bait. Got some bug spray. Oh, this, these are what um, these are. I think I, it ain't a block. Just something right there. Put a jig head in that. Drag it across the bottom. Pretty sure you'll catch some flounder. I caught a, my first flounder on live shrimp. Swimming mold worked good. A flounder too. Put a jig head in it. Bounce it off the bottom. I'll do this in fresh water, but I have a little tackle box. For like brackish water, it has a little white jig in it, brown jig, some small hooks, and a weight, a weight hook. Whew, we caught the nice size trout on these before. Um, little, um, A little pinfish looking lower. It's green with sparkles on it. Got some two weights. Got a fillet knife. Flowers, band aids just in case. Um, 80 pound test and some barbers. Bye, SNF fishing. And I will be doing a video right after this. And I might be doing one tomorrow because we might be going fishing. So, peace.